Hey scientists, today we are going to be talking about the writing the abstract portion. This is a how-to video on writing the abstract portion of your uh, FOMA lab report for Science Fair. All right, so I, first, first thing you need to do is you need to identify the question to be answered. So in other words, what, what is your question? What did you want to find out by doing the experiment? What's the point? Why did you decide to do the experiment? Um, for example, if I wanted to know if redheads got better grades in science would be an example. That's kind of my, my initial wonder that gets the process started. So um, the hypothesis format that we're using <clears throat> is you, um, in the abstract, you identify the independent variable and the dependent variable, the IV and the DV. Um, the hypothesis format that we use is a change in your IV will cause a change in your, in your DV because, and then you give the reasons why you think this is going to be true. And remember, um, your hypothesis does not need to be correct, this, but this is the reasoning behind your hypothesis, the because. So was your hypothesis correct? Yes, my hypothesis was correct, or no, my hypothesis was not correct. So that needs to be written in your abstract. The next thing that needs to be written in your abstract is the data that supports the statement. So um, this is the average data that is going to be taken from your data table, the data section that you fill out while you're doing the experiment. As you can see from my charts and graphs, so this is a good way to sort of start that statement. As you can see from my charts and graphs, I did an experiment to see if hair color affected quiz scores. My data would say, my hypothesis was correct. As you can see from my charts and graphs, on quizzes, redheads averaged 98%, while brunettes averaged 86%, and blondes averaged 91 So this is going to be in that hypothesis section of your abstract. And feel free to go ahead and um, use this format. That's about it. Short but sweet. Um, if you have any questions, as always, let me know. See you in class.